I'm Lieutenant Colonel Kane Wright, Commanding Officer of the 1st Combat Service Support Battalion. Over the last few months, the Australian Army have been conducting the world's first field trials of a warp speed 3D metal printer. Earlier this year, the Australian Army announced a $1.5 million investment into a 12-month pilot of speed 3D technology. The program includes the training of soldiers in 3D printing and the trial of Speed 3D's large format warp speed 3D metal printer. The trial is designed to test the feasibility of deploying Speed 3D metal printers, both on base and in the field. Warp speed uses patented cold spray technology that enables significantly faster and more cost-effective metal part production. Developed in Australia, the printer is capable of printing large metal parts up to 40 kilograms at 100 grams per minute. The trial has proven the printer and auxiliary container can be easily transported on the back of HX77 trucks. This two-week training exercise at Mount Bundy is the second in a series of exercises in which we are putting the warp speed through rigorous field testing, for example, loading and unloading in various terrains, emergency stops and redeployments, and general operation in austere environments. Soldiers have been training at Charles Darwin University for over six months now, learning everything from design to certification of 3D printed parts. They have produced over 50 case studies of parts that can be replaced in the field with metal 3D printing. As an example, here is one of the parts produced today, a bulk fuel module mounting bracket which enables safe operation of manual fuel pumping. This part was designed by one of our trained soldiers and is able to be printed, heat treated, machined, tested and put to use here in the field. The ability to print repair parts in a deployed environment will significantly reduce our footprint and repair damaged equipment on the spot to get us back to our main priority.